after searching through the Northwood for a cure to a mystical poison. Our party found a living grove that would prove to be a resting ground of a dying treant. After the party had taken various means to help the creature they had finally awoken, saved and befriended the treant and his friend Adrienne. In return, the treant, Cytus Six, had cured Ty of his debilitating poison, and our party now finds themselves on the way back to Nine Years, escorting Adrienne back to her worrying family. This is embarrassing, but uh, I don't remember the way back. <laughs> you think living here so long? Eh. Anyway. I'm sure we'll see where to go once we get out of the forest. Go ahead and make me a survival, anybody who is taking a look around to try to find their way back to the path. The nine. Tie with a 17. I think uh, rejuvenated feeling, uh, Ty, you are able to uh, point out the direction of which way you once came. Uh, you are able to, uh, through maybe running or tracking, maybe your uh, pass running through the streets of Evervale or even ducking and dodging and figuring out the, uh, the labyrinthian uh, docks of Galfish, you are able to uh, find and navigate back to your destination being the road from whence you came. Hell, uh, follow me. I remember uh, why. Okay. At this point, Adrienne, uh, the girl from the Grove, uh, is a uh, small halfling child, uh, is next to you, I believe, uh, Jet, correct? Because I believe you, you brought, you uh, guided her away, so uh, the two could have conversation both Ty and Farsha. Yes. So I, I recall last time we, uh, after we finished with the treant, I uh, gave her this red bead or red uh, seed. Yes. From the branch. Yes. Uh, one mm -hmm. of the, uh, one of the yew berries. Mm -hmm. So like uh, the scary man said, try not to come out. Okay. You see the seed that I gave you? Well, I heard from uh, your friend, Cider Six, that uh, he can hear all the trees. So maybe, if you plant that at home, uh, hey. maybe you can talk to him through it? I don't know. Okay. Like a pet. And she, you see, she starts to, like, treat the, the seed or the berry... Uh, a little bit more gently now. She was kind of just holding it before, but now she's like petting it uh, and she starts talking to it. I'm going to be the best mommy for you. And she starts like poking it around in the palm of her as she starts, as it starts to just roll and dance around um, as she just starts to smile at it and uh, start daydreaming of, uh, of the potential plant that she may grow from this berry. Hmm. At one point, okay. she, it rolls off of her palm and it bounces a little bit and she, oh no, uh, scurries down on her uh, all fours and she picks it back up and blows it off and gets the uh, the dust and the uh, the bits from the, uh, the detritus, detritus from the forest floor off of it as she rolls it around in her palm again and starts to then just start talking to it again. Okay. Okay. So now you have to be careful for the both of you, yes? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have something I can put it in? Oh, um, uh, yes. I uh, reach in and I get an empty, uh, it looks like almost like a burlap uh, kind of uh, sack, very small, and I hand it over to her. Is that going to squish it? No. It's just uh, to keep it uh, safe and dry. Okay. 
she takes out this, or she she uh, grabs it from your hand and she opens up the uh, like the envelope flappy part of this canvas uh, pouch and uh, she then fastens it somewhere uh, onto I think uh, onto maybe just in her shirt uh, strap or under her collar where she just keeps mm. it for a moment. I say, uh, remember, it might be a berry, but it's the seed inside that has to be safe. So a little bit of roughness isn't going to hurt it. Okay. But it's a berry. Yes, but the seed is inside the berry. Oh. And that's what will grow. Okay. Yeah, so... Okay. For moments uh, after this uh, this interaction, you all start making your way. The uh, I believe it was evening when you were at the uh, when you were at the grove. So now uh, the 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 sky still has the aurora above, but there is that midnight blue uh, it's to start to signify dawn is just around the corner. Dawn, of course, not being when the sun rises, but when the moon rises, for the sun is always off of the uh, southern horizon, staring uh, and spreading its uh, orange, orange dusk-like radiance across, of the, across the land bridge of the spine where you all are uh, traversing. Uh, but it is the large fractured moon of Geolune that hangs above where, from whence you all uh, can tell and measure time from. And uh, you can tell from just the uh, the sky coloring itself, that the moon is just about to peak over the, a nearby mountain. Did we get much rest, uh, GM? After you yesterday, you have yet to rest. This is probably we're probably picking up right where you le- we left off. Where I think just after uh, Ty uh, pointed out the direction, and then you started to had, meander it, back. We had a re- a sort of rest while Ty consumed yes. his beverage, right? Yes. Or his thing? Yeah, you had yeah. a short rest during the... short rest then. During, the, um, during Ty's beverage drinking. But okay. we have never declared a long rest yet. Mm-hmm. And that is all up to you whether or not you wish to. I feel brand new. I'm glad. Uh, so, what's the plan? Because the town isn't, you know, a final destination. We have to keep moving. Well, I guess the original plan is back on. I, I suppose. Headed to Gullfish. How are we for supplies? Do you all have food? Water? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Okay. I still have uh, the soup from before. <laughs> I can share it if anybody wants it. And is still goldfish, right? Uh, or has that changed? Mr. Tai? You want to come to goldfish? Yeah. Do, 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 why or do, do they? You're coming to goldfish no matter what. Okay. It's would likely be safer for all of you if you came. Even mm. Mr. Smith, I guess. What? To Golfish. Is the plan still to go to Golfish is what we were discussing. Golfish. Mm. Yeah. I mean eventually. Isn't isn't that the plan or no? Yeah. There is a strength in numbers. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Do I believe him? Give me an insight. With disadvantage. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna ignore the critical. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think. At this point, yeah, I think at this point, 
Was he wearing his helmet? I took it off. Okay. Along the walk, probably. I will let Wack judge what it is that is to be revealed with this natural 20 from a stranger. Mm. I just want to know if you're feeling okay. Definitely not. Um, I think you would have understood that I've had a uh, pretty definitive and decisive plan for pretty much whatever I've been doing <clears throat> to see me sort of confused or to see me question, maybe, aside from garnering anyone else's opinions, is definitely strange. Okay. So, I, I don't know Mr. Smith very well. He has been terrifying and stoic at the same time, so I feel as if being uncomfortable in this moment is kind of half of the cost for any normal person. So I, I, I won't press on it for fear of my own life. So, goldfish, then. Uh, right. So... Are we almost there, Mr. Tai? Yeah, the road should be up there, shouldn't it? So what are we going to say? Are we just going to walk her in there, or...? What? Oh, to return her to our, to our parents. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think Nine News is safe enough that we can just leave them at the door, at the gates. We don't have to go inside, you know? Uh, we don't need okay. a hero's welcome for a missing child. I think that's the opposite yeah. of what we want to do right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we want to get her parents beheaded, we should walk her up. Mm. I agree. I put my hood up and follow behind. Sure. Okay. So, you start making your way toward Nine Use, correct? Nine Use first? Yes. Okay. I think we're going to sort of try to drop her off. Swing by, or drop her off. Or, like, watch her walk into town and wait mm -hmm. and make sure she gets there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll probably head off. All right, so you... I need to message you something. Okay. Somebody on Discord. Yes. All right. Okay. I'm... Still nervous. I, I would like to just, in this silence, keep an eye out for anybody who might be looking at us. Yeah, sure. Go ahead and make me a perception as you start to make your way uh, over the bluff into uh, into uh, the nine U's proper, into the fields, the meadows, the farmlands as well. You just creep outside uh, south of the Northwood uh, as you peer across, looking at the ninth U as it uh, stands tall, or the first U, really, it's the, the large U tree that stands uh, central of town underneath the ever-present sun that sprays mm. its shadow across dark town, which is just below in the shadow. Of I'd like U. to believe that uh, in the town, that U tree is both the first and the ninth, as it's all a circle. As we approach the the road where it splits and we can head to Gullfish and she can go down to Nine News, I'll just get down on one knee. Um, okay, we have to we have to go this way, and you're gonna go right home, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And if you if you need anything, um, don't reach out to the tree. Okay. Just 
remember what Jet said, right? With the seed? It's good. Yeah. Okay. You need anything else? Or are you okay? Um. Or when are you all coming back? Um. I don't actually know. We were on our way somewhere. So. Soon. Okay. I'll see you. Um, be safe. And be well. And comes in for uh, a large hug um, oh. on, on you, Varsha. And then she lets go for a second and then runs over to you, Jet, as well. Uh, and then she gives you a big hug and then she sort of looks at Ty and and Smith, and sort of does like an awkward wave. as She then turns and smiles, looks at the, the, the pouch in her hand now, peers open uh, the burlap flap as she looks in, uh, smiles again, and then turns around into, uh, into Nine News. The, uh, there are people still sort of scattered throughout. Um, some people notice her as she comes in, uh, a, uh, one of the militia people, uh, are, uh, staring off in your direction. Uh, they see her come by, uh, and they sort of then look back at all of you, uh, and start to inspect, um, you all and raise a hand. Uh, I think he, um, the guard or the militia here, uh, holds up a spear, uh, just, to, uh, the spear hand to sort of block out, uh, some sort of uh, light from a torch that is uh, shining off of the wall to get a better look at you. Um, and then you see he starts to walk toward another militiaman on the other side of the uh, palisade or this gate here and uh, starts to talk for a moment. Um, we either should leave now or they might have some questions for us. I mean, she has been missing for a couple of days. Uh, true. All right. I will call. Okay. Right. Just follow um, us. You're into the woods. Yeah. Into the, into the farmland. Okay. Wherever we're going for goldfish. Sure. Sure. Wait, where is uh, Captain Botox? Is he still around? Yeah, he's been following you this whole time. Okay. He uh, He's just been pretty quiet. He hates... It usually gets like this when you start to get into those walking and travel. He used to... He, he's a lot, The only thing really coming from him is uh, heavy breathing and a lot of complaining. Uh, he doesn't like walking um, <laughs> very often, um, but he will. But usually um, he stays pretty quiet when it comes to what to do next because he's so focused on um, just walking. Um, but uh, you sort of start to make your way out into the farmlands uh, west as you start heading west toward Golfish. There is not much when it comes to uh, path this way. Uh, a lot of it is going to be probably based off of any sort of map. Do any of you have a map of the area, or is this based... I I'm, I'm feel like Captain Buttocks probably has a map. Um, so you've probably been doing a lot of this navigation and navigating uh, either at night or when you are doing it down for your rests or whatever, uh, figuring out... Uh, of course, it's pretty easy to navigate uh, on hearth because pretty much south is always where the sun is. So um, it's, <coughs> excuse me, easy to decipher direction. But you start to make your way westward. The moon starts to creep up over the, uh, over the eastern set of hills, uh, actually over a, uh, an old mine or the rubble, uh, the direction of the rubble of the Dan Kurt mines as you start to make your way toward, uh, westward, toward Galfish. Okay. Uh, I'm not much of a traveler. I... How, how safe is the road? How, how busy is it? Are we the only travelers? The road to Galfish from Nine News uh, is... Uh, Pretty lacking. Uh, it looks like a game trail at at best. Um, there is a small trail for 
Uh, some people to pass through, but pretty much the entire uh, way is going to be uh, flanked on both sides by brush, and you could probably move single file. Uh, not many people travel from Galfish to Nine U's lately, um, but those who do are able to, of course, uh, make uh, sure that this path is available. Um, when it comes to the safety of it, it is a large, thick brush here. Uh, so it's a little bit harder to judge how safe it is, uh, whether or not you are a hunter or a, um, a, uh, whether or not you're like a hunter or a settler or forager within this area. Okay. Well, it's almost the end of our journey. <laughs> We've pretty much gone all the way around the uh, the Empire at this point. Just to go to the east, or the west. What will you do next? Me? I, I don't know. I'm hoping Mr. Tai can tell me. On my boat, and I'm going to probably sail as far away from this shit as I can. That is probably for the best. <laughs> probably a good time. idea, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Captain Buttocks erupts. I don't feel like sticking my neck out more than it needs to be, you know? I feel like we've probably made a bit. A bit of a ruckus back there in the Walden, and I usually like to get my head down. And I feel like every time we get somewhere, we're going to get our heads lopped off. Yeah, yeah not wrong. <laughs> Can we rest soon? I'm getting tired. I, yeah. I would like to do the same. Yeah, right. I was waiting for somebody else to say something. Yeah, um, right. Well, you don't have to worry about me. I always down to sleep or rest. Or rest. Okay. Yeah. To, um, I can do I, all those. I'll I'll put the camp together. You just go ahead and rest. Are you hungry? Uh, I haven't seen today. But... Okay. He slowly finds and waddles and wobbles for a moment as he finds purchase and uh, sits down again, uh, much like uh, when he did back on uh, the Nubian uh, in episode one, where he just fell and everything shook and rocked for a moment. It's sort of the same thing happens here, uh, but this time he sort of lays back and finds a, a log nearby, drags it like a, uh, drags it like a pillow uh, out of place. As he drags it through and under a bush uh, and then uh, from under a bush and then leans back and puts his hands over his chest and Begins to just nap for a moment. Yeah, this is nice. Thanks, Vasha. Yep, no problem. Uh, Smith, Ty, do you guys need food? Want food? What? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Gonna reheat some soup. <clears throat> uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll eat something. Okay. Ty? I'm gonna scout the area. Okay. But when you uh, come back, would you like me? I'll just make you some. Nah, I'm all right. No? Oh, oh wait. In that case, I, I quickly chase after Mr. Tai. I pull out uh, some copper scissors. They're stippled around the blades. And then I pull out this long brown tube, which if you look at it, kind of, you can see bits, chunks of potato and chunks of meat inside this tube. that looks like parchment and I cut it in half. And I go, uh, I guess you can have it dry? Soup. And I give yeah, it to him. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, all right. F for your journey. And I turn to yeah. Miss Vasha because I heard her say, yeah. And I go, yeah. uh, soup jerky. <laughs> I'll well, be back. And um, I give it to her. Can I reheat it or? Yeah, yes. Uh, just add water. Yeah. Soup by the foot. Soup okay. by the foot. I throw it away yes. as soon as I am out. Okay. Yeah, it's crumpled up. I just throw it in a uh, yeah. bush. Okay, perfect. All right, so you, uh, Ty heads out to go scout the area a bit. Uh, Buttocks is napping. You're setting up the camp as well. All right. 
Uh, not I'm too long until I... my bed roll. Sure. Yeah, not too long until a fire is created, uh, sparked up, <sighs> and uh, the snoring from Buttocks as he's waiting, or uh, as resting. Um, going straight to sleep, Smith? What? Are you going straight to sleep? Smith? Sure. What? What's going on? What do you mean? Where, where are you? You're not here. Where who I, am I supposed to be? Here. Present. Well, I'm, then I'm here. You don't, you don't seem here. Are you sure you're okay? What does that even mean, Varsha? Well, are you sure you're okay? I mean, I know. What does okay mean? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. going to sleep. Okay. I uh, get to work on my potions for the evening, and uh, I haven't been doing it because I'm not sure how much money I have for it, because I know I can make potions on the go. It just takes money, yes? But a lot of money. Or crafting a magical item, it's a hundred gold, which I don't have. Right, but I don't think... I don't think it matters for the potions. I think it just costs spell slots. If no, 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 not, 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 al not alchemist potions, but potion potions, like potion oh, of healing. Oh, oh, potion. yeah, 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 to mm -hmm. actually craft, okay, to actually craft ones that aren't mm -hmm. based off of that, okay. Yeah, it would. It would cost money, right? And, and I, of course, I broke. mean, it would cost the reagents, of course. Um, uh -huh. And if you probably stopped at civil uh, at civilization somewhere, like maybe nine used to grab some of the uh, ingredients, then you totally could have, or and we could have been like, you've spent that money uh, in nine used for that, right? Um, I, I I wouldn't have done that. It's too yeah. risky. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't have you wouldn't mm. have had time to sneak in. Okay, then I'm in that case, I'm just working on my experimental potions for now. Okay. okay. Uh, give me, uh, I guess, give me a roll. I guess you could do it in the morning too, but. Right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. One thing you would notice as I go to sleep is I don't take my armor off. Okay. And is this normal for Smith? Or has Smith been sleeping in armor this whole time? No. It retracts reasonably quickly. Oh, okay, but the retraction doesn't happen this time. I leave it on. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I sit by the fire. Um, I'm concerned about literally everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I know Ty went to go look around the area, um, so I'll kind of wait, maybe, until he comes back. I'll take first watch. Who's at the top of your list? Or worry? Of, as to who I'm worried about? Um, Smith. Yeah. Uh, and then Ty. What about Ty? Um, I'd prefer to tell him first, if that's okay. Of course. Ty, you are out in the brush doing some scouting, yes? 
Yes. I'm doing a genuine scout, and then I would like to do a couple of things. Sure. So you do a general scout. Uh, you scout out the area. There is, uh, there's a cliff nearby. It goes into uh, some stagnant water puddles of potentially looks like um, a uh, the perspiration of a nearby hillside uh, settles here. Uh, a lot of moss as well, uh, indicating that it is wet and shady in this area, uh, which is good and cooling. Uh, 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 the campsite that you have all decided upon, uh, depending on, it's it's a little bit lower in altitude than the rest of the landscape that you have uh, scouted upon, which could indicate a cold night. Uh, but other than that, you don't have a lot of harsh winds uh, that blow through the area or anything like that. So the only thing to worry about is a stagnant cold night and potentially a wet ground. But when it comes to uh, your scout, that is what you can decipher. Uh, I want to test my bow arm because last time I tried firing arrows was not. Sure. So as you're out on the scout, you take a moment and lift up your bow and draw an arrow. I actually want to take ages. I think I spend, Okay. I find a tree or a stump or something and I just stand there for a decent amount of time just firing arrows one by one, go and collect my arrow, hope it doesn't break, Mm -hmm. check it, aim up again, fire, check that my, yeah, my bow arm is back, and spend a decent amount of time doing that. Yeah, uh, I think it takes you a little bit, uh, it takes you a little bit to uh, gather the confidence uh, that you've had with that arm, um, and with your uh, with just the weakness uh, that you have felt for the past uh, couple of days or the last night or two. Um, for the last long while, the feeling of weakness and emptiness has probably weighed on you significantly. So you being able to lift up uh, a bow and then draw 50 to 70 pounds on it as well uh, has been a bit hard for you to focus on and to be aiming uh, with. But uh, after a while, you are able to um, I think at first you take too much time. Uh, this is uh, something that archers do uh, very, very, um, they fall into this bad habit very quickly starting out is taking too much time. Holding uh, a string is, is for that long is just, it, there's no reason to. You're gonna shake, you're gonna get weak and you're gonna lose your shot. I think uh, as time goes on and you start to clear your mind a bit, these arrows fly through and you are able to I think with the rhythm of going and getting the arrows and then coming back and then breathing again and just this medit like this this practice that started for you starts turning into a meditation as you lose time um, I think the Geoloon starts to crest over the nearby mountain but uh, sort of as time goes on the full moon is in sight now in the sky as you're still going through this meditative um, act of shooting a couple of these arrows, going and finding them, coming back. Um, It's the ones that hit, though, that are the ones that keep you in this meditative state, the ones that nick the tree and launch it uh, 200 or 300 feet in the opposite or the the sideways direction. Those are the ones that snap you back into reality. But when you are able to uh, grab and collect those arrows, collect yourself and shoot true, you are able to. As time goes on, you do see and do feel that your your arm is getting tired, but your mind is getting a little bit more focused as you are able to hit the tree more and more. Um, it becomes easier and easier. I think you spend about an hour, an hour and a half in that area alone, maybe about uh, 30 or so minutes just traversing the area in your rudimentary scout. Um, Varsha, back at camp. Yes. It's been about an hour and a half, two hours. The moon is now fully in sight. Uh, It is now the beginning of the day. uh, And uh, you are pretty tired after traveling all night uh, and hauling your armor and such. But there is still no word of time. Usually doesn't take this long for a rudimentary scout mission. Um, I, 
I I will cast alarm uh, here on the camp, and I'll go look for him. What does that look like when you cast alarm? Um, I think it's a. I think it's like a purple string that will appear around the boundary. Okay. Um, kind of like if it were a wire trap. Yeah. Um, and then the and then that string just like fades. Um. And I I put it right around because uh, it can't be. I don't think it can be that big. So I'll put it around uh, Jet and. Uh, Smith's area. Okay. Um, yeah, so like a, an arcane yeah. webbing, you're able to, mm-hmm. like a, a radiant piece of purple silk, you're able to string different points across, making a, uh, uh, a, a protective dream catcher around your friends. Yeah, um, and then I'll just go look for him okay. as best I can. Sure. Uh, make me a uh, investigation or perception. I'll let you choose. Okay. Twelve. Okay. Uh, with a twelve, you're able to, I think, uh, you hear, uh, I think you hear a skittering nearby as uh, an arrow just sort of uh, slides through some of the brush toward you. It does end up stopping near you, um, and you're able to, with this moment, uh, look up from it, the direction of whence it came, and uh, I think that's when you maybe lock eyes with Ty. Does he see me? Oh no. I think he does. Okay. I'm gonna fire Sorry. an arrow right at her. Okay. Make me an attack. Oh, and you're serious. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't move, by the way. So if he fucking hits me, he hits me. Right. Sorry, very important fidget spinner fell. And all right, so the uh, yeah, the a arrow flies forward, lifted up from the bow, and coming toward you. Where were you aiming? Because you got a twenty-one, so I'll let you decide where it hits me. Um, I was just aiming at you. Not your okay. head. I'm not trying to kill you or anything. Probably. No, I know. A... Um, and you're wearing your armor. A uh, leather armor, yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I think Ty is an excellent shot, and I think, I think it's gonna hit me here or here. So um, I will grab that and keel over a bit and uh, takes the wind out of me and it, it does quite a little bit of damage and yeah. I'm bleeding a bit. Yeah, so I'll just double over. <coughs> I deserve that. Probably. Is that the best you've got? <laughs> I'm not... I'm not here to fight you. Can't even avoid a half ass arrow. You've been gone a while. I was just worried. I can leave you to it. What's the matter? Are you afraid of the dark? No. I was just concerned about? for you. Concerned for me? What do you mean? Yeah. You've been gone for a while. What do you think? Someone snuck up and killed me? No, I think you left. I wouldn't leave Jet. I wouldn't leave Bugs. Noted. Are you really going to join us? I think so, yeah. All right. Avoid this then. I'm gonna throw a dagger at her. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to avoid it. Okay. 
Oh, I won't. I won't. <laughs> Do you have any reactions or anything? Um. Well, considering I uh, I hesitated there to decide whether or not I would move out of the way, I just don't move out of the way in time. I do the exact same thing Var Varsha does, right? I'm is Varsha deciding if I want to move. Yeah, is Varsha expecting this from Ty, or is Varsha... What is going through Varsha's mind in, like, what is stunning Varsha in this time I, to allow this to happen? It's not... I'm not being stunned. I think okay. I'm just accepting it. A dagger flies forth and pins you symmetrically on the other shoulder. Out of the way. One got you on, in, on the left side, and then this other dagger skims across and sticks into your shoulder. You ain't gonna last five fucking minutes. Oh. <sighs> then I won't last five minutes. You were worried about me. Yes, I was. I'm sorry for what I said earlier. What did you say earlier? Stuff about the... about what you said to her. The girl. What are you apologizing for? I wasn't... Oh, fuck. I wasn't talking about her. I was talking about me. And that's not fair, either. I... I don't know what it is to be a good parent. I'm not one. All I know is what didn't work for me. I just wanted to apologize. Where are your parents, then? <sighs> Never fail. Or they fucking sell you into this shit or what? No. They, Bring you uh, up in it? No, they did their best to protect me. Yeah. Told me, uh, hide. Don't tell anyone, don't show anyone. What happened to them? Who knows? You're not allowed to go and see him or nothing? No. How old was you then? Old enough to hide. How old? <laughs> I was 16 when they took me. Right, so you remember him? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Were you going to find him or what? Now? No. What else are you going to do? Try to help people who want to be helped. What if your parents need help? I don't think I can help them. Well, if you can't help them, what's the fucking point? They tried to help you, didn't they? Yeah. Right. So what's the plan? I don't have one. That's it. You just fucking give up like that, do you? Don't defend yourself against an arrow or a knife. Absolutely no backbone to stand by your words. Give up going after the only people who've ever tried to fucking care for you. I'm sure they don't want to see me, Ty. What if they're locked up somewhere? They aren't. So you do know where they are? Yeah. 
Anyway, um... I owed you an apology, and I was worried about you. I just wanted to come and check. A lot of people try to kill me. A lot of things have tried to kill me, and I'm still here, ain't I? Don't worry about me. try. I got the feeling you weren't talking about her either. You're right. What happened? I was worried about her parents. I see. You lost them, I assume. We'll smoke these. No, but I'll take one. Yeah. Thanks. I didn't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? About a spell wind. But you could see it? Or use it? Me either. How'd you get found out? It's not that I got found out. And what happened? Well, when I was a kid, I was already in the, uh, Tonton. I was learning these tricks, these spells from Lorcan, my uncle. A crazy one, right? I don't I mean, know if he's crazy. No offense. He's something. Okay. Truth is, uh, I, I couldn't see it. I could feel it. I could literally reach out and sort of touch it. The spell wind. What? What? Um. What does it feel like? To me, it felt like fire, and fear, and grief, and pain, and dread. The last time I bothered to try, I... I heard her voice, her voice, say my name, and I felt... my mother's feelings, and I heard her final words. And she was scared and she was on fire. And she wasn't scared for herself, she was scared for me. And those words, they haunt me and the spell wind, it scares me. And I use it sparingly, but I don't bother with it. Not like Lorcan does. Not like you used to. Mm. 
I'm sorry. They didn't come for me, though. <laughs> they came for Lorcan. I was just there. Well, what did you do? Well, they took away my dad. Mum's dead. Lorcan handed me over to his friends. Toothless Wes, One-Eyed Bill, Red Devon. They taught me how to, uh, stay alive. And your mom, what do you think she would say now about all this? Who gives a shit? She's dead. Dad's gone. Lorcan's a fucking sycophant. Doesn't matter. I don't matter. They took me from me. And there are people out there who do still give a shit about people. A girl's parents, maybe your parents, all the people that Smith's butchered. They've still got the ability to love and to feel and to live. So I don't give a shit about me because I haven't got anything to fucking live for. That doesn't mean they haven't got nothing to give. So I'm going to try and keep that little girl alive. And I'm going to keep fighting. And I'm going to keep killing if I have to. This shit's got to end. I agree with you. Right. So if you are going to join us, start deflecting arrows. I'm sorry. No need to apologize to me. We ain't friends. I know. Don't take too long. Your next shift. Alright. We we watch as the two split for a moment. Barsha continues back through the brush, uh, back through the trail which led her to Ty. Uh, Ty continues shooting arrows into the tree. Uh, I think a couple miss as he starts to then find his rhythm again. Varsha, you make your back. Your, you make your back. You make your way back to the, the campsite. A, uh, a wind blows through the area, and you're able to just for the moment see uh, where the alarm spell that you have cast uh, uh, dots and uh, fences out where you webs where you have cast it. Um, your friends are still resting easily. Um, as you sort of sit down and look up and assess, take some breaths and realize that it's almost time for you to pass the watch. What's going through your mind? Um, are you sure you want to know? You don't have to share. Um, 
I guess I need to find something to live for. Just like Ty. That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Otherwise, I won't dodge that arrow or that knife. Is this uh, a realization that came easy for Varsha? Or does it take a good part of this thought for you to come to grip with it? Uh, it takes a good while. Yeah. And I think that's why he... I think that's why he shot at me, and I think that's why he threw his dagger at me, because he knew. Mm. Yeah, Ty has a way of seeing things mm -hmm. that never need to be spoken. I just tend to my wounds. Um, when I look over at Smith, um, I'm feeling incredibly guilty. I am not resting. I know. Are you, yeah, I was just going to say he's probably speaking in his sleep and, um, or if he's sleeping at all. Mm. Is Smith sleeping at all? I don't know what you'd call it, but he is tossing and turning. You might hear occasionally, shut up, shut up, shut up. Smith. And I just reach a hand out and I have my other hand ready because usually when I wake him up, it's he's pretty violent right when he wakes up, so I'm ready for it. Um, Smith. Smith, before you wake up, you hear. Please. It's okay. It's me. It is me. It's me. It's me. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's just me. No, Breathe. it's not you. What? Yes, it's me. It's, it's not Marshall. you. What you, it's not you. What? what, what? It's this. It's this. Ah, oh, it's oh, this. oh, fucking Christ. It's this. And I take the bracer off and the armor retracts and I throw it. And it stops in midair. And it comes back. And I fall to my knees. It's not you. It's not you, Varsha. What do you what do you mean, Smith? What what's happening? Can you not take your armor off? What's going on? It's bonded to me. Like my mark? Did they do this to you? Smith. It's me. The sword, Varsha. You, you saw how they did it. This armor is a whole lot of swords. And what? Piece by piece? Did you pick it out by hand? Or did they just give you a full set? Do you know who these belong to? They all come from the same person? This was before the book, Varsha. I'm not judging you. I'm trying to understand. Did you pick it out? I didn't. I didn't know at first 
It was offered to me. It was, uh... He said I would be... Her best soldier, I, um... I could serve the God King. I didn't know at first. Until, um... Until it was upgraded, and I, uh, saw how it was done. And I, I can hear them, Varsha. The Sworn? Who can you hear? Surely not. We have to go. Come. Come on, Arthur. Let's go. I don't know what they are. Memories. Yours or someone else's? Every time they perform that ritual, every time they enchant a weapon, Take something. We have to go. They take something from the person, not just not just their lives. They're brought back, but they're not brought back. I don't know if it's echoes or what. I've been able to to shut them down, to shut them out for a long time. I've done a lot of bad things, Varsha. I've killed a lot of people. Why don't I hear their voices? You do, just in a different way, right? You carry them all the same. I know you do. So, Stone, Mr. Stone, isn't just a disguise then? That face? I don't think so. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh. God. I turn over behind the tree. I don't know what what's good or what's bad anymore, Varsha. Say that, yes you do. No, I don't. I mean, how's that possible? Of course you do. Look at how you feel carrying this weight around. 
Look at how you feel knowing what your armor's done, and and look at how you feel with the with your book. I just know that it won't stop, Varsha. That's what I know. It won't stop. No matter what I do, it won't stop. It doesn't matter. Any... Anything I do to try to help anyone, it won't stop. It's penance, Marcia. That's what it is. Penance for a bad choice that I made many years ago. I went down a path and I followed it and it was my choice. I did it. It was no one else's fault. Smith, it wasn't just one choice. It was multiple. Yeah, well... When I make a choice, I stick with it. So make a different one. Penance is about you. You know, if, if, if we go around trying to help people, trying to do the right thing, for, for penance sake, that's not... That's not why we do it. Why do we you do, do it? Because it's the right thing to do. Well, maybe I'm not I... expecting to be forgiven. I'm not expecting to feel good at the end of it. It just needs to be done. Maybe if I, if I've, I think maybe. it's dangerous for us to hope for that. Maybe if I if I follow you then I can begin to understand again. That's why I'm doing all this, Varsha. I don't know anymore. But I think you do. I'm stuck with this. All of it. So, I'll see where this road takes me. We can't make up for what we've done. No. Okay. But we can make a lot of little, right? good decisions and maybe at the end of our life we'll have more of those than we have of the bad ones and that should be enough no 
Okay. Do you know if there's any way to remove it? Yes. Okay. Spit it out. Go on. Everyone that's made the armor, everyone that was brought back, What I understand about the magic that's involved, they all have to die. I'm stuck with this, Varsha. It's a part of me. Just like you told me. When we were inside the tree, I am the blacksmith. You can be more than that, Smith. rolls over, stares off into the woods, tries to close his eyes, tries to find a place where he can focus and fall asleep, but ignores you. I'm on fucking watch. I'll just sit here. switch get some kip then yeah thanks um jet walked off that way and i know you said uh, not to worry about things in the dark but i figured you would want to know after some time the coals start to burn a little bit lower than uh, usual um, it may be something that uh, something that is just habit or something that uh, we only see Ty do uh, it seems like they get dangerously low before 
before the smoke starts to bellow and blow into your face and sort of remind you that the fire needs to be tended. Yeah, I set about to uh, find some more kindling and sticks and sure. pile them up. Sure, yeah, you're able to uh, break off a couple of branches here and there. Um, a nearby bush, uh, a fell tree, is able to be uh, harvested to then kick the fire back up. Uh, Jet, are you are you around? Are you asleep or are you off? I am asleep. I am okay. You are. I just yes. There's a large tree by the side of the camp, and I just. We just moved didn't up see of my you. sight. Okay, mm. great. All right. Yeah, so uh, your rest goes by relatively uneventful. Uh, it seems like you were correct uh, in your scouting mission that the cold is definitely the only threat in this area, at least, is the, is the cold, wet ground. Um, cold air settles in this pocket, and you knew that going into it. Um, some people are tossing and turning, uh, Captain Buttocks as well. But other than the fire almost going out, not much happens during your watch. And just because it's uneventful on the outside doesn't mean that it's not uneventful inside whatever is going on in Ty's brain. Um, as usual, I... And pushing down certain thoughts and placing my mind to the uh, the future. I very rarely think about the past or even the present. And uh, I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit. We're going to come up on goldfish. Yeah, within the next... Uh, it's going to be probably the next four or five days of travel and we're behind schedule yeah you are behind schedule but uh when it comes to the schedule uh everything sort of went up in the air when walden blew and the mines hopefully and the mines split their forces or distracted them in some way but you I'm do remember still expect that you were one. told that there was a blockade east of galfish mm-hmm I'm hoping that they sent some of that blockade away from Galfish with the whatever they as assume to have happened at the Dankert Mines. Mm. Um, they have to move through Galfish, so Galfish is not allied with Evervale directly, is it? So no. what's the deal with them moving any sort of military forces through Galfish? Are they allowed or what? what is that? Because So Galfish, uh, you know uh, that Galfish is protected. The Entente have a very heavy hand in, Gal in Galfish. Uh, so protected that the routine ship that comes by Galfish uh, from Evervale docks at the docks but no guards or no sworn ever step off of the boat because they know they will either be heckled or murdered or assassinated if they were to just have a normal patrol. So it is, uh, it is custom to just dock the boat for the night or two for the patrol or the, uh, for their mission, and then they leave, never leaving foot off of the boat. They are always, they're pretty much on boat arrest while Galfish just stays in its own government. So, so Evervale the and blockade the is going to have to stay. Yeah. The, the Sworn, personally, like when it comes from Sworn to Sworn, they are afraid of Galfish. Uh, but to the God King, the God King still issues out patrols to Galfish, but no one has ever uh, disturbed Galfish when it comes to politically from the God King because of the slew of assassinations uh, that happen in Galfish. You, mm. I think, Ty, feel the safest in Galfish. Oh, I love it. I love yeah. it when those boats show up and they step foot on my uh, my yeah. wharf. Yeah. Um, it's my favorite thing. 
me and Bugs just firing arrows at the ships. Yeah, yeah. It's just like it's like kids throwing uh throwing rocks at uh, throwing rocks at the river. You're trying to hit it like sticks as they're going by. It's sort of the same sort of thing. You are you and a couple of your friends, Red Devon or a uh, uh, one eyed last one. What was his name? Red Devon. Red Devon. One eyed Bill. One eyed Bill. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and uh, as you guys are launching arrows and and uh, uh, shooting towards the ship and keeping them on their ship. Um, so the odds of us coming into contact with um, this blockade or any militant forces of the Swan south of Galfish are pretty low, I presume, since they would have to move around Galfish, unless mm -hmm. they're actually planning on doing some sort of actual right. military pincery thing. Um... But I think I'm still aware of it, so I'm probably just trying to uh, map it out in my head. Sure. Maybe I have buttocks map out in front of me, kind of, like what we have on the screen, and I'm just trying to figure out where they might be if, if they're creating any blockades to the north. Um, that's one thing, but if there are any to the south, we're going to have more trouble getting into Galfish. So I'm thinking about all the different possible routes in. Maybe there's some secret routes through the mountains, or maybe there's a shortcut, or maybe there is a way uh, around. Should that happen? Yeah, make me a uh, make me a survival as you're doing some map boom map read and map play twenty okay. plus today. Yeah, hell yeah. So. The 25, uh, it may be, a safe route could be going toward Trader's Reach and uh, grabbing a boat and heading north. Safe. How confident am I that there will be some sort of presence towards the south of Galfish? Uh, that's really up to you and up to Ty. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. hard to, it's hard to say. Um, nothing, you have never heard or have ever had uh, the advanced knowledge that you do that there will be a blockade outside of Galfish. Um, whether or not, where or how, you have no other advanced knowledge or um, uh, intel on it besides there will be one, um, unless you get eyes out there. So it's kind of Partly hard. Partly we were trying to get there to warn them, but if I see a right. blockade to the south, they're gonna already know. Yeah, um, I think we're, they're going to yeah. know it's a repercussion of Walden because yeah. that was probably Lorcan's plan anyway, or at least I think Lorcan the was nine plan use. Right. Yeah, I think the nine use plan that you all had was to do something in nine use to distract the blockade so you can sneak into Galfish. Right, and Smith didn't do it because he's decided to come with us, um, which I am letting him do because I. Um, not the brains of things, and I just bring people like that to Lorcan and the others and let them deal with it. Yep. Lorcan is a... I'm sitting there thinking this stuff as well. Lorcan is a literal wizard with like a spell book and a wand, and he mm -hmm. is... I think he is... Uh, like a... Um, a sycophantic kind of... Uh, terrorist really you know we're, we're sort of eco-terrorists here or yeah. at least we believe ourselves to be morally correct in our terrorism but that is what it is and uh, I think while he is all those things and maybe I question I mean I question myself morally and everyone but um, he is certainly far more intelligent than I am right. when it comes to and you trust sort of general his, intelligence and academic intelligence so bringing Smith to him and Varsha partially, but I think I think Varsha could easily fit in. I would imagine that there have been other situations like this, probably not too often, but still. Um, but Smith, I don't know. I can't, I just do not know what I'm supposed to do with him and I don't wanna, I mean, it's a, he seems like a ticking time bomb to me and I'm also pretty sure we're gonna bring him into Galfish and they're gonna behead him, but um, whether Law can, ju can just straight up mine him for information or maybe even use him in an even more effective way. If I, uh, if I, if I push him to do the plan in nine use, um, and then we go to, to Lorcan and he says we could have used him for this instead, uh, Ty's probably going to beat himself up for it. And probably I've done similar things in the past, which is why I was 
hesitant to to uh, even do the Dan Kurt thing. I prefer to just stick to doing what I'm told to do and then head right. back. And if things go terribly wrong, then I just cut my way out. Um, so I think um, the plan now really seems to be to just try and get back into Galfish. If anyone can get back into Galfish, it's me and Bugs anyway, whether it be going to Trader's Reach, getting there by sea, or whether it be sneaking in uh, through the south blockade or or just entering back through the south way. Um, Galfish is a, a like a little fishing village anyway, so yeah, it's pretty it easy to get into by sea one way or the other. Mm-hmm. So I'm prob I'm I probably spend the night pondering these things, um, and uh, just not really letting in any of the other thoughts that no doubt will have come up and will be sort of things that Ty doesn't really address, um, even in the dead of night by himself any thoughts about that interaction i had with the spellwind when i was younger what you know just our purpose is um and uh and the fact that uh there's progress on on that on the purpose you think no his he i don't think so He, he come back from the the brink of death yesterday but he's done that before um and his opinion has always been the same if he dies he dies um but if he is um but if he's here he is just a tool to be used by the entente um i think that is really it, his life doesn't mean that much to him in that sense, so his purpose being his own isn't something that he feels as much as his um, purpose being a part of a larger machine that is, you know, he, right. he has a use for the Antan, but really he's just a, a piece of a, a larger thing, and um, he's not out there like, not like crazy or suicidal or anything, but he's also just kind of got this attitude of um, yeah. fight today so that someone else can see tomorrow. It's not so much. So he keeps doing these things where he comes back from the brink of death and maybe those thoughts are in there and under it all, but he's not addressing it directly himself. Yeah, he wouldn't admit that. He's completely... Um, he, and he, he only thinks about the future anyway um, and the bigger picture. I think he's not... Yeah. You know... All yeah. of that existential shit is under there, probably. Oh, of I course. I think yeah, it, he's just he's been like this since he was three. Yeah, he's just I don't an brush stroke in the large mural that is the Entente and the way of life on Hearth. Yeah, and that's that's. He's been on Death's Door a million. He's been stabbed yeah. and shot with arrows and yeah, hit with spells and woken up days later on and, and poisoned. Like yeah, poisoned and starved and captured and escaped and. It, 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 there's probably a whole lot of shit in there, but he's too busy, you know. It, it, he sort of buries his head in the work, and it's that's all it is. A mm. lot of it's wet work, but it is that kind of a process. So I don't think he's really thinking about it much. Um, sure. And he's thinking more about how he can get himself, Buttocks, Jet, Varsha back to Galfish, and considering what the approach with Smith is, and honestly, I think he's just hands off with Smith at this point. Yeah, bringing um, a, bringing like the uh, an executioner of the enemy is is a hard. I have been studying how to try and kill Smith, and I and so a lot of people I think have assumed that I have been jealous of Smith's armor, but in fact, I'm looking for weaknesses. There, I, I do not spend time with people who I don't know how to kill. Um. And uh, I'm very curious as to how his armor works and things like that. Um, so probably I'm, I'm uh, and and for most of the nights so far, I have been thinking about precisely how I would kill him and how to bring him in is another one. Yeah. Um, I don't think I can take him in when he's fully armored up like fucking Iron Man. Um, we're gonna need to bring him in uh, with his armor as much off as is possible. I I do know. While I don't think I quite witnessed the scene before i don't know 
how that armor works or anything or i know that he sort of can't fully take it off or whatever because he demonstrated that to me but um i am thinking about that as well like there, there has to be a, some way that we can bring him in kind of cuffed and and in a position where yeah i don't trust that he's not gonna to like ty would there. easily on the other side of this infiltrate the sworn in the same way get all the way up to mm -hmm. as the highest level as possible and then just unleash and kill as many people as he could. Mm. So he's still not really sure that Smith isn't up to that. Yeah. I think he's pretty pretty confident that Varsha is who she says she is and is suffering in the way she is, but Smith is just too big of a deal. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he is certainly also thinking of his ways to bring Smith to Lorcan and the others um, in a way that would not be a threat, but he's also uh, struggling to figure out how that would be even possible because smith is kind of a mystery to him um and while yeah i might have bested him once that was because i kind of had the drop on him i don't know if yeah ty is fully confident he could just one v one smith and win every single time he's not that dumb to have to assume such a thing um but i'm also thinking about that like how how are we even going to bring this guy in and is he gonna allow me to do that if he is coming with us because i'm gonna have to literally bring him in with his with his armor down and a sword to his throat um and uh so there's that whole thing going through his head as well i think really i'm just thinking about the few days ahead and i think also there's a small part of him that just wants to be home and i'm of course in very commenting that yeah. he is uh just once this part this whole thing has been a bit of a mess and the last thing he was expecting was to be bringing these two sworn back and to have played a part in blowing up these mines and things and there's so much and there's probably a little bit of a fear that Lorcan is gonna tell him off you know yeah ah what have you done you did it wrong you blew up these mines what the fuck are you doing this you know yeah yeah um but uh that may happen yeah, that probably probably doing a lot of that kind of thinking yeah, rather than yeah. any sort of soul searching. I think he's really planning. He's uh, thinking every, he's he's really spending a lot of his whole time. No wonder you let the fire go out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I also fucking hate fire. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I like to watch it burn down. Uh -huh. uh, and I like the feeling of being cold. <laughs> um, that's fair. So I like to let it burn down a little bit. So, Ty, you spend the rest of your watch staring at the coals. I think it does, the, the smoke does blow into your face, reminding you to, 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 to uh, uh, help it out and to aid the fire or to assist the fire back into burning. You do. And then you spend its entire time burning, watching the sticks that you produced onto it uh, uh, morph and change into... Uh, coal and then you watch the embers burn for a bit more uh and i think you may spend uh maybe a shift too long as you are thinking about this and yeah, i did a lot of sleeping while i was sick yeah it's true you are you are up and ready but as you start to watch the coals burn you see the moon starts to make its way past the zenith usually signifying midday the white light from the radiant moon above uh, is still shining, giving you a warming presence uh, as you begin to hear your friends stirring from the rest. I start throwing things at bugs because I know it takes ages to wake him up. It's a process of throwing rocks and just like... <laughs> things at him wake up and then he goes back to sleep for five minutes and then i throw another stone at him get up and he goes back to sleep for 10 minutes and then Ow. wakey wakey everyone rise and shine yeah. up 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 i'm up we're serving a nice breakfast of two day old soup yep yep i'll have some i'll have some of that right now thank you <sighs> I might have some more, if uh, there's not enough day in the fire. Okay, to it before Bugs wakes up. 
So, um, did I notice uh, Vasha was injured? Is she? How are you looking right now? Are you still wounded um, from? Probably has some bandaging. Yeah. <laughs> um, I and did the best I could, but I yeah. got hit here and here, so I imagine my arms were yeah, not. You, you just have these two bandages that are very obvious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I. Uh, well, I'm going to ignore it just because she's not making a fuss about it. Yeah. But d- during breakfast, while people are sitting around the fire, I'm going to uh, walk around the camp. I'm going to essentially grab one of my flasks, one of the flask bottomed ones, and put it near the center, close to the fire, but not too close, and put two long sprigs inside. The mixture is green, and you can see that uh, typical green effervescing uh, gas emanating from it, like an infuser, and I'm casting surreptitiously, but not not so, you know, a uh, healing word. Just in the intervals to the party, as not to, ju- uh, you know, incur suspicion. Sure. Because I don't know the extent of the wounds, but no one's making a fuss, so I'm just going to make it a ritual from now on. Okay. Just spend uh, the morning giving people a healing word tea. No, not a tea, but uh, it's... You know those things that in some rooms, you know, like yes. to make the like like a fragrance infusion. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. Sticks and things and the oil. You're just doing that, okay? Right. Yeah. Right. And I notice it right away. Do I? Uh, you should do. You recognize it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Then I look over at you and and nod in thanks, and then acknowledge it. Oh. Um. A new day. Uh, can I have my, uh, my my bottles back? The ones with the potions I gave you. I need um, to give you... Uh, do I have one? I, th- I think I have one. Yeah. You may yep. have... Yeah. Okay. So I take it, the nut stuff. I, <laughs> I pour it out and I mm-hmm. say, again, a blessing in a bottle. And I give that to her. Thank and you very uh, much. I have a, another healing potion in case anybody needs it. Which I've used my... Uh, Spell my, my spell slot for an alchemist uh, healing potion. Does anybody need it? It's better if you hold it and I don't have it. Um, I'll I'll hold on to it, and if anybody okay. needs it, just let me know. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Golfish. Mm, the Are you ready? Yeah, As ever. On. I've been ready for weeks now. Yeah, right. bugs. The map. Yeah. What about? Okay. Is it here? Yes, right here. All right. So. Oh wow. I was thinking. Uh. <laughs> I haven't seen the full, full map like this. Yeah, yeah. We got everything from Hawhorn all over to Quiet Can. We're gonna move along here. Keep the mountain to our north. Okay. Yeah, all right. We should. You want to approach from the south or the east? No, we're going to come up from the south and have a look. Okay. We should be able to tell if there's a blockade at the south there. They might bring ships down if they're trying to Block- pin in galfish to make sure that uh, they pick us off as they come out. Blockade. Uh, you don't. You don't want to. You don't want to maybe cross, and then approach from the north. No, I guess they probably are expecting. No. You mean the river? No, uh, the yeah. Do. From the they, fucking north. No, the, um, yeah, because they might be expecting us from there. Because the well, the mi- mines blew up, right? So I'm just wondering if they're expecting us from the south. But I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, yeah, okay, that sounds good to me. I think it was the same crew that did the Danker and the Walden mm. things at once. But there's definitely they would more leave some north. scouts regardless of what they did. Right. They definitely investigate the Dan Curd mines. And I'll start to point at the map. And I will point towards Galfish, depending on where they set up the blockade, which to have the most effect would be on the southern side. Feel free. Yeah, but I gotta ship him in. Here you go. Mm. Feel free to draw on the map. Here. Here you go. Oh, I'm not gonna. He gives Come you on this. It's he, amazing. He gives you some charcoal pieces. 
feel free to draw on the map if you want to help illustrate what you're saying. What's their plan, okay. Smith? They're trying to yeah. find us specifically, the ones what did it, or teach us a lesson by picking a few of us off. They um, have to react to the Dan Kerb mines no matter what. It was a good plan by Varsha. But they would have set up the blockade south of Gulffish no matter what they had to do, whether it would be bringing boats in or what. If they were going to set one up, they'd do it on the southern side. So, by southern okay. side, you mean here? I mean before the bridge. Before right the bridge. Okay. They okay. would set it up there. Right. They want to so, stop uh, all of your or any allies that Gulfish may has from supplying them with anything that they need. Blocking off Dead Grove or Evervale won't give them anything, so they'd block off the southern side. Of course, to stop okay. High Hollow and Traitor's Reach. Yes. So, okay. If they're blocking off, you said the bridge to south of Gulfish, yes? Yes. Okay, well, if they're blocking that off and we see it, could we not just cross the river eastward? I would cross would. westward. It's too close to the mines if we go eastward. Mm. Fuck doing okay. either of those things, because one way or the other, you're still going to have to come down the fucking river. They're going to see you. Okay. They're going to be watching the river. They're going to be watching the bridge. They're going to be watching the north. Yeah, but isn't there a trade route from around High Hollow Don't all know. the way to Gulfish? We just pretend to be traitors. Shit. I mean, alternatively, we could go to Traitor's Reach and get a ship there and then head up to Gulfish on the water. The real question is how many troops did they send yeah. from Gulfish to the Dan Kurt Mines? And we ain't thinking Varsha and looking at like that. What is that supposed to mean? I'm oh, sorry. The, uh,. Shit on your face. Oh, yeah. But I, I mean, it just means I'm allowed to use m magic. I'm sanctioned. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm sworn. They whip your uh, spells could... off you or whatever. Um, well, I mean, I could maybe so disguise it so that it looks fresh or real or... Hey, Easiest cool. way in. Me and Butters mm -hmm. chore a boat from Trader's Reach. I think that's... No, like, yeah, that's a great idea. Plan. That's that's a great idea. Uh, we can go up by the way water. to avoid any scouts or anything that they've got. Um, yep. We would just they have to worry... Properly dock at Goldfish. We would just have to worry about any ships that they sent down. If that's how they got the blockade there, and I think you're probably they wouldn't, right. Yeah, they wouldn't be sending ships to High Hollow or Trader's Reach. There's no way. Mm. They're probably heading to Bearden's, Nine News, and Pendulum before they'll hit High Hollow. So if we They're book it... going to be infantry ships. We just need yeah, a but, little thing. A little slow. Yeah. So uh, Hi High Hollow is up on the mountain, so there won't be any boats there. Trader's Reach is likely the one place to go to if there are any docks on the north side. Fuck High Hollow. R right. Bunch of introverts. They don't come out anyway. Bunch mm. of weird elves. Fuck them. They ain't looking for nothing. Um, I have a friend from High Hollow. Yeah, but they ain't looking out of the fucking sea on behalf of the fucking... No, no, you're donkey. absolutely right. Um, and even if they were, they're friendly from what I understand, so... And I mean yeah, but friendly they ain't got to... good boats. Right. There's a shit ton of boats at Trader's Reach. Yes, exactly. Me and Buttocks used to go and chore them just for fun. Boosting boats is fun, and yeah. make a few uh, silver pieces out of it and all. Yeah, remember that red one we picked up? It was good. Yeah, well, we called it the Rose. The Rose I like this plan. <laughs> I think this is good. I think we have a good chance of getting in without too much trouble. But we'd have to, we'd have to pick up the pace because it's uh, a little bit further to get to Trader's Reach and then go around to Gulfish that way. Yeah, or we could head up to Gulfish. There is a plateau up in the mountains that would give us a good view of the bridge. We'll be able to tell. Maybe they ain't setting one up there at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, Dancourt isn't the entire mountain range. 
Maybe they pulled off half of their fucking troops, sent them over to Danka. They're going to think we're over there. Maybe this whole thing is a uh, bust, the uh, blockade at Goldfish. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. What do you think? Um, I think the plateau is probably a good idea if we could, you know, have a vantage point and look and see, because uh, Ty's right. They They may not have set up a blockade or that may have been a lie or potentially when the Dan Kirk went, everybody went that way or, I, you know, I don't know. Well, let's but go. I, I start to put my backpack on. Yeah, let's go. And I start to walk. Okay. Okay, so the plan is to head north toward uh, the mountain range uh, and then take a look and from there and see and scan? Yep. I guess so. All right. So you all uh, don your bags as well as start to grab, uh, start to uh, grab the things that, hold on, uh, grab the things that you are prepared for and getting ready for, um, uh, for your trek. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> was that math? <laughs> Yeah, I okay, saw, cool, 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 cool. I'm just going to... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, you all don your, your bags, and you start, uh, you get your uh, the rucksacks all ready as you make your way north. Uh, there are uh, several game trails that go through here um, as you make your way through and roughing through this, uh, this very rarely used, seldom used uh, uh, trail to the Galfish road, or at least uh, the road between uh, Trader's Reach and Galfish. Uh, on your way, uh, maybe about an hour or so into your trek, the moon starts to uh, set for the evening, uh, and uh, towards the middle of the day, or towards the middle of the afternoon, uh, I need you all to make me perception checks as you make your way through the wood. Thirteen. 22. 16. Oh, yeah, buddy. 14. Okay. Jet, with a 22, uh, you see through the woods and through the trees, I think as you're making, or actually, I think you hear it before you see it. Uh, you hear uh, a sound you haven't heard in quite a long time. Uh, and that is the sound of... Uh, the palace. Ha happiness. The sound of... No uh, clip clip clopping of hooves, uh, coming echoing. Happiness. Yeah, there's a sound of happiness. You haven't heard that in a long time, and that's what you hear. And it's hooves just off, uh, clipping on some stone up ahead, but only for a second. And I think as you like perk your ears up to listen for a moment to hear it, the echo and the the clipping clopping stops for a moment, but you still hear rustling in the distance. Um, and then. I think as you potentially silence, you do hear chatter of some sort up ahead. It seems to be common. Okay. Uh, the horses. Be be before we continue, who has the sending stones? Um, I, I have one. Okay. Who has Sorry. the other? Horses? I do. Yes. Put your ear to the ground. Can hear it. Two options, hide or confront. Wait a second. I give her a jazz so she can Slow. amplify the sound on the floor. Yeah. Um. Slow, not a gallop. How many do I hear, Dan? Is it a lot or a few? Make me it's a, a lot. per investigation. Okay. Oh boy. Not the best at this, fam. 16. More than one. Okay. Um, uh, it's definitely more than one or two, but I'm losing track. Yeah, the rhythm is hard to pick up. You can hear at yeah. least one, and then uh, the a rhythm starts to, and the cadence starts to clatter into one another, and that sort of is where it's definitely hard to pick up how many, but it's definitely more than one. Okay, and it's coming like towards us, or? Um, it is, is it getting louder? 
It is not coming towards you. It, it seems like it is traveling away from you. Um, as you do track towards it for a goldfish? bit, it does, it does look like it's going in the same direction, at least. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. It must be someone moving from Trade Has Reach. Yeah, or, or the mines, right? Maybe. I'll find out if you want. You are still in the foothills uh, just below the range of the Dan Kurt mines and those mountains. You are just still sort of on the outskirts of the forest as they start to turn into the foothills of the mountain range. Okay. You yeah, okay. My bags. I can uh, okay. go ahead, see if I can yeah. find them. Yeah, here, take the, take the stone. If you get into trouble, I don't know, use a code word or something. Grandma. Hey, grandma. Yeah. All right. What? First thing I could just say I'm in trouble. Okay. Well, yeah, but then they won't, you know, they'll know. What do you mean? Right? I'm going to know if I pick up a stone and say grandma into it. No, you, you don't have to, you don't don't have to pick it up. You mm. can literally just touch it in your pocket and start talking about your grandma and we'll know to come. Oh, you can call them grandma. It's not out of character. Yeah. All right, grandma. How are you doing? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah, I'll take this fucking bag. Yeah. Okay. Here. Stone. Be, be careful. Uh, I will attempt to move at a much quicker pace than the party for however long. I don't know if this is the type of thing where they're so far ahead that it's going to be multiple hours of me pacing myself moving quicker than everyone. Or Not if, if it's the type of thing where it. I can like just burst forward as quietly yeah, as I can. Yeah, you can burst forward as quietly as you can. Um, go ahead and make me a stealth as you do. Okay. 21. <laughs> Wonderful. With a 21. A plus <laughs> yeah, with a plus 10, exactly. So, uh, how disgusting is that? That's disgusting in the best way. Hate rugs. <laughs> rugs. <laughs> I, um... Well, it looks like someone needs another poison. Uh, so, mm -hmm. you uh, make your way and you step on, funny enough, you step on a uh, mushroom. Uh, without your, you slip out of your shoe and then you kick a poisonous mushroom with your bare foot and now you're poisoned. Huh. Um, right, so, okay. uh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, that works. And now you're Oops. just a normal player like everyone else. So, uh, yeah. as you make your way, uh, and you burst into the brush. Um, it doesn't take long. I think uh, you're able to, I think one one branch makes a over you as, but you're still able to dance on uh, crunching leaves, uh, which are a little bit easier to mask than uh, crunching sticks. But you're able to uh, dance across, uh, gracefully across the, uh, the, the wet ground uh, and find the wet spots, which are a little bit more silent than the dry leaves and the dry sticks. Uh, as you are to make little to no sound. You do keep your ear out to the noises that are being made up ahead where it does seem like two horses. Uh, it's not long. You're not, you're not super out of eye shot from your friends when you get a, a look at what is making this commotion. Uh, it does look like a, an armored horse is carrying what looks to be uh, a person in uh, black robes. Uh, the person has their head up into the air as if they're listening to something or potentially smelling something. Uh, their hands seem to be roped and bound behind them. And uh, flanking on either side are both uh, sworn guards. Uh, one is uh, leading, holding the, the reins of this uh, horse as if they are trying to uh, transport a prisoner northward. And the other seems to be a sworn centaur, uh, armored and gilded in the God King's armor. Uh, but is clopping next to uh, this other uh, this other horse as they sort of make their way. Exactly, a sworn tar. Thank you, Quack. Uh, as they are sort of making their way in the same way you all are. Um, um, Notes of your presence, they are making a good amount of noise, but they also hmm. are treading with confidence. Yeah. From my best guess, are they accompanying a... Um, uh, Spellkin? Yes. Is this a, this, is, is this a, looks like a, um, yeah, like a, a mage of some sort that they've found presumably in nine years and they're taking them elsewhere. Um, and and this they, they potentially they is have, the reason why they haven't made their way towards the blockade because they're in the middle of transporting another mission or in the middle of, of, of doing this. Okay. Um, okay. I would like to cast message at the spellkin in the middle of them. 
Okay. As it went, and I, am I, can I get 120 feet away? It's pretty far. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. Um, this is a can this trip, is a which moment. is nice. So Time I'm going us. to immediately <laughs> is it? Uh, cast this message to the middle, um, the spellkin in the center, and say, Don't react. I'm behind you. I'm on your side. You can respond in your own head. Uh, yes? yes. Is Who it you? are you? Paragons? The paragons what? of life, are you there? Fuck, it's the paragons of life. Yes. No, it's the Anton. Yes. yes! Oh! Ah! And then you start to hear the, uh, some of the sworn start to... What they say? I don't know. There's something going on here. They I said, don't react. Back and forth. Can you fight? I, I, I will try my best, but I don't know if I can. Uh, it's That's very enough. nice. Is there something I could do for you? Of which do you speak? My madness is really what they call it, but it's. Re I knew it. You Listen, you calm down, yes? calm down, yes. calm down. In a minute, everything's gonna fucking pop off. Just uh, get to the ground and keep your head down. All right? Yes, I will. All right. Yes. Or whatever you say, sir. I pick up the stone, even if this is all still going off in my head, and send a, a message back to the others. Grandma, wait, no, not grandma. Um, come up here. We've got two sworn to kill. I can't remember mm -hmm. who had the other one. What the Smith fuck are the you saying? One. Yeah. What do you mean two, two sworn. sworn to kill? Wait, They're what? transporting a spellkin. Okay? Hurry up, catch up. What does that have to do with us? We're gonna free him. Garsha? What was what, happening? A, what's he saying? There's a spellkin with two sworn guards, and Ty wants to go. He wants to. To get them away, which means we're going to have to kill them. We don't know that yet. Yeah, let's go. I will attempt to sort of like I'm trail. I'm like staring at Varsha. <laughs> yeah, we don't intently. have to kill them. We don't have to kill them. In fact, it's better if we don't. If we can, if we can incapacitate them and start spreading the word that we don't want to work for the God King anymore, and he can't spread his propaganda about us, everybody wins. Yes, that person way. needs our help. We'll be there soon. All right, I'll keep an eye on them. Two sworn, one's a centaur. Okay, so what's the plan? Are we going in with our armor on and pretending to be escorting ourselves, or what? Um, we're escorting him. And I point to Jed. Oh, okay. okay. We're escorting no. Jed and Ty. And we're going to take that one that they've got off their hands. Um. Now is probably a good time to tell you. I can't put my armor on. What? What? I can't put my armor on. It, it, yeah, I is know. Is it too, too tight? It burns because me I can... when I touch it. Oh. 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 Just stay behind me. Okay. You can just be transporting me as well. Wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Should you bind my hands, or how, how, how does this work? Yep, behind your back, like this. Oh, okay. Rope and twist, and then yep. he'll just, yep. Okay. Okay. I think with the assistance of getting the coil of rope that was around your hip, Jet, uh, both Varsha and Smith dress you to be a prisoner. Uh, then, after that, 
Uh, you turn, Varsha, and your rope is used around your belt to help tie yours. Okay. Um, I think I will put my blade in Jet's bag if he lets me. Obviously, they're not gonna... Or Smith, maybe carry it and throw it to me. C uh, carry what? My, my, my sword, my blade. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need it. I'm, I'm not sure if maybe. your sword can fit in my bag of holding. It might be too big. Okay. You can Look. fit a sword. Okay, uh, slip it inside the pouch. You can see the thread goes. Will you be able but to recover it quickly? Um, okay, let's walk and talk. Um, I say okay. as my hands are behind my back. Yep. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm going to open up the... Uh, Open up the pouch, mm -hmm. and uh, uh -huh. as she does, the thread starts to glow, and uh, the, the, the sack is about this big, and just slide your sword into the sack as well as well. Okay, going. I maybe okay? should have done this before you tied me. Smith, oh, can you help? Oh, yeah, both of you are trying to like sorry. gracefully I'm do sorry. this. As I should have thought. I, I mean, you sword. can leave it on me if I you want. I just... just do it for them. Thank you. Uh, okay, all right. So as he does it, are you Sh carrying it? Are you? Chuck, if you're. If you were being escorted and I grab this person and, uh, you know, I say, we'll take him from here, mm -hmm. we're not going to do anything to go against the propaganda, Varsha. Well, we can tell them the truth once we have him in hand, right? You think that it's going to go peacefully from there? I don't know, but I'm going to try. Okay. So and you, you can... I'm sure just four of us can handle two sworn. Pull the, dr the drawstring just... to close the bag? Mm-hmm. I don't want to kill them, Smith. If they fight us, we can just incapacitate, you know? If they fight us, Varsha, then I'll make sure that they don't kill us. That's what I'll do. If uh, things get too out of hand, I can try and stabilize them as well. Thank you. Okay. This is the first choice, Smith. Let's make it a good one. Okay. Lead the way. And you start heading out. Yeah, you start making your way toward Ty. I think you pass at some point silently as Ty maybe give you like a, uh, a some sort of nod as you uh, make make There's more no noise than he does. Way. What's what? There's no Come way? On. Okay. All right. They don't even... S you just walk no. toward where... Do you, do you give you them directions? I, so, for the record, I don't know if I see them. Okay. They don't see me. All right. No one sees me. I am <laughs> hiding off the road somewhere. You're not even on the And map. I am, I'm like already, I've been aiming at the centaur with a short, a, a short bow, a half knocked arrow for yeah. the whole time. Yeah. Um, and then they come bowling up with them tied up and shit walking sure. along i think i'm just confused they didn't tell yeah. me the plan so yeah. you've mm. got you're probably waiting for some sort of message back to being like kill him or do it or something because that's probably what you're mm -hmm. used to but that hasn't you're just you watch as you're ready uh scouting and looking at the scene as three people join and you look surprised for a moment and then you realize who it is and you're probably even more surprised um okay so yeah you all approach this scene um the uh there is a uh, a tall man a pallid skin uh with black robes hands are roped behind his back as he's riding on a horse uh that horse is being led by another sworn with uh purple and gold regaled armor uh they have a, a long feather that comes out of maybe uh one of uh, a griffin feather out of uh, the helmet and also maybe one of the uh like a splash of uh of feathers come off of uh, one of the pauldrons where it fastens the cape. The same uh, mirroring uh, armor is also being worn by the centaur that is then uh, in tow with this as well. The leading uh, sworn is 
uh, leading the horse northward. And like I said, flanking and following uh, is this centaur. Uh, the centaur uh, does have uh, what looks like to be a large uh, crossbow over his shoulder uh, as he is uh, making his way and just sort of scanning. And I think at some point, as you all make your approach, because you're not sneaking, right? Right. No. I think uh, as you're about 15 feet from there, uh, the uh, centaur turns and looks at you and goes, Oi! Stay there! Hey! And uh, the other one stops for a moment. The horse start to stop, and they trot to a halt. Uh, and uh, the other sworn kind of... Uh, uh, peeks around the chest of this horse as it then looks over at you as the mood suddenly changes. What are you doing here? Taking some people in. Got some spell, Ken. See, you've got one yourself. Yeah. We do. So? Travel with us then? No. What's that? Did you hear what happened in the Dan Kurt mines? Make me a Make me persuasion. Natural one. So the natural one, they um, they kind of look at each other. No? What happened there? Yeah, what happened? Dankert, we were just over in Dankert. Not what? The mines are gone. They're blown up. Really? We need... What do you mean? All the sworn to head to Dan Kurt. But these folk, I need to get them back. Give me your prisoner. Give me your spellkin. And I'll go back to Evervale with them. Yeah. This uh, centaur looks over at the other. Look at each other. Uh, a subtle shake of the head. No. We get our orders from Creighton himself. And our orders were to join the blockade. If anything, we'll go join the blockade. But we don't take orders from you. You know who I am. Don't believe we had the pleasure, the centaur says. Hey. I think that's the blacksmith. I uh. start to power up my armor. What are you Little trying to do then, huh? Little shocks of electricity begin to dance along my gauntlets. I think their their laugh of humor starts to change into a a, a, a face of confusion as you, your armor starts to sp to spark with electricity and the energy. I slide right. closer to Jet, just a little bit. Yeah. Can I hear them? Where am I? You are about uh, you are at about a hundred feet away, um, but I can let you be within earshot, which is probably going to be about thirty feet away. There is a tree can nearby. Be... You can sneak by, sneak near. Yeah. Okay. Could he not also is listen he... with the stones? Yeah, it's the stone. That's not also let true. Him you do have mm -hmm. the sending stone. If I can listen through the stone, let's split the difference. Can I be like sixty feet away and Watch like again. a pretty fucking? And I'm gonna be a cheeky little shit. I like it. But I want to. And when be you say that, you the... mean rogue. I want to be a rogue who okay, got here perfect. earlier on and has positioned myself in the best possible position to fire an arrow at the centaur if I need to. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. If I can hear what they're saying, I won't do anything, though. It's just that I wondered if I would yeah, perceive I think, this as a I think you may have. Um, already or not. Yeah, I think maybe you have 
maybe stuffed the sending stone in your hat so you could still hear it while you have your uh, your arrow knocked and just ready as you're looking. Sure. The two... I'm going to need you to hand over that spell, Ken. And you... You need to head on down to the Dan Kurt Mines. There should have been a contingent that headed up there. They're going to need as much help as possible. The fire is out of control. Make me a persuasion with disadvantage because of your critical Is there one. still smoke in the sky? There is still smoke. I would imagine. Yeah, I think... From here, though, it just looks like a continuous rain cloud. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. um, even, yeah, it just looks like an ominous dark cloud has been there for a couple of days. Um, mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, the, I will, oh, uh, am I allowed to use my Neo ability here? Yes, so because I was about to move him. on. Yeah. 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 So what is it that okay. you uh, you are going to do? Your your. Um, you told him to roll with disadvantage, mm -hmm. right? And you're gonna. Uh, I would that. like to just remove the disadvantage. Yeah. Cool. So you have that eighteen. Okay. So. With this, the. Mm -hmm. The two. Um, the two sworn look at each other. Uh. And the centaur looks down at the other. He looks up at him. And how do we know? Wait a minute. And he sort of looks you up and down. You're telling me you have these three? I got these two, and I got your spell, Ken. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. This is tough. The roll didn't help. Uh, I think I think the centaur I think they both like look at each other they agree. They sort of give that slight nod to one another, but then the centaur looks up at you and goes, I don't work for you, I work for the God King. You don't given me this armor. You haven't given me this life. I don't trust who you are. We all make choices. I understand that. Why don't you go? I understand it really well. Why don't you go to Dan Kurt yourself, then? We'll take these. There's two of us. My partner was killed. I'm going back. That reveal. For reassignment. Give me the spell, Ken. Get your asses to Dan Kurt. You know what's right. Look at the smoke. The place is a shit show. Fine. You let them know this one was ours. 
I'm not looking for credit. You think I need it? Come on. I'll give you all three. Here. Give us all three. We'll go. As he kind of turns, uh, the centaur turns and clops towards... Uh, Your and names? Brockthor. Marin. Soldier Brockthor. What was it, soldier? What? Marin. Brockthor and Marin. Yep. Smith. It's... Good to meet you, Smith. He's got his back turned towards you now as he's lifting, and uh, the centaur is lifting and sliding that prisoner <laughs> onto the ground uh, and sort of um, forcefully adjusts him so he's standing. Um, and before I think the centaur understands bipedal balance, he just sort of lets go for a moment, and the, the prisoner uh, sort of has to find his own uh, balance for a moment with his hands bound, and then he uh, shuffles and looks towards you again. Yeah, these three are ours. Let's go, Marin. And uh, Marin hops up onto the horse, they then begin to move. Uh, one question before you head out. I haven't checked with the blockade yet. Yeah. What? How many uh, stayed behind? Do you know? How many are there? Haven't been yet. We were doing this when we were called. All right. Good luck. Yeah. They make their way off into the wood, leaving you with this prisoner. Um, the two, skeptical as they do, make their way off. It I seems to be a bit. the west. Sure. Um, a couple of times they do stop and sort of discuss with one another. Um, they as headed they, to the west, you said? I'm sorry, east, excuse me, toward, um, toward okay. Dankirk. Um, and they, they make their way that way, uh, and as they do, they do stop, and there's sort of like a small argument of whether or not they should stay or whether or not they should have, um, but they are still moving. Um, so like as you would have a conversation on a hike or traveling and walking, and there's like that banter, there is still progress being made as their voices fade off into the distance. But there is there there does seem to be some sort of dispute about what they should have done there and who <sighs> they should believe. Right. Well, I grabbed this uh, guy, and I... <laughs> What's your name? Oh. Sykes. Sykes. Sykes, please. Brother Sykes, yes. All right, Brother Sykes. Yes, yes. We're going to just head up this way for a little while. Uh. So we can't see those born uh. anymore, and then uh, we're going to have a chat. Yes, yes. Just let me know when I lead me where. Can you see? Uh, no, I haven't been able to see for... For... Uh, well, what year is it? Uh, it, it tens, tens of years. Okay. What does he look like? Uh, he is uh, a tall, um, uh, pallid white gentleman, uh, bald, uh, bald hair, bald head, um, and doesn't look like he has any sort of... Maybe uh, a, uh, a spattering of facial hair... Uh, as graying as it's coming through, uh, hasn't been taken care of for a while at least, but if he was able to grow facial hair, not very well. Um, he does have, uh, looks like a robe on and nothing really else under it. It, it, ha it hangs low and you could see the bony, uh, uh, the bony emaciated uh, frame that, he, that the, uh, this large, thick um, uh, robe sort of sits on. A rope does uh, tie it together around his waist uh, and he does have uh, blistered, calloused feet, as they have been. Uh, they were dry, but now are starting to uh, see moisture again as he sort of uh, uh, finds balance in this soft earth. And uh, is, is the robe a, a kind of like a monk's shift, or does it have like a it does, regalia to it? It does like have a, in... its own regalia to it. It's hard to decipher what kind um, okay. when it comes to where it is from. Um, it is uh, black with sort of gray trims, 
uh, and uh, there isn't. Uh, but as far as you can tell, the regalia on it doesn't signify any sort of uh, god, faction or, or god. Okay. Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Or that, or one that you recognize. I, I wave to the tree line where I think maybe Mister Tai might be. Okay. Wait, wait, wait! Stop. Oh, okay. Sorry. How did you get out of there? Can you untie mine too? Wait. Not yet. Mm-hmm. Hang on. You still hear me? Yeah. Keep an eye on those two that just left. They were sworn transporting a spell can. Like you said. You think they're coming back? Don't know yet. Keep an eye on them. We'll give it ten minutes. Yeah. I'll get him later. At this moment where uh, Captain Buttocks breaks through some of the brush nearby. Oh, sorry about that. I, uh, was thinking something that was going to happen. So what are I... you doing? Get back in the brush. <laughs> and he, uh, you see, he starts to waddle back into a tree somewhere. <laughs> well, any change? Buttocks just bursted out of the brush. Any change? Uh, they have faded off into the distance at this point. Uh, no real change in pattern, but they have, for the sake of it, have left the scene for the moment. I'll grab Bucks and and catch up to the okay. Uh, catch up to the group. Sure. All right, they're out of eyesight. Who has my sure? Stuff? Which one of you took it? I can't remember. Uh, Where's your what? We, okay. My stuff, You're, my bags. Oh, I do. I walk up to you, but I don't take them off you. I start rummaging through them. I take out two oh, flasks, okay. water and whiskey. Okay. Well, if he's not tied, then I don't have to be, right? Yeah, just take them off now. Thank okay. God. Could I be free to? Um, yes. Yeah, of course. Yes. Oh, thank you. What are we... Keep hold of that stone, yeah? I'll probably see you tomorrow. Maybe the next day. Wait, what? Where where are you going? What? I'm going to get him. Get? Get What? Yeah. Is that why you... What? What do you mean? I'll get him at night. No. Well, they're going to need to rest. Hopefully by night, Paul. And then I can... uh, I'll get one of them while he's asleep. We have to get to Goldfish. I convinced them to go to the Danker Mines time. Yeah, good job. You've got a future in Grifton, maybe. <sighs> M- maybe some other swan, Mr. Tai. Remember, you are our bargaining chip for Goldfish. Without and you, be- yeah, Miss Vasha. I'll be back before you get a Goldfish. Yeah. What? what are you talking about? What was the play there? You're just going to let him fucking go? For now, yeah. Why? When we reveal ourselves, Smith and I, I want them to talk. No, I mean, when we reveal ourselves as turncoats, I want them to talk. And I want them to sit with the knowledge that they let us go. They'll be killed. Maybe. That's if they admit to it. Fair enough. They might not admit to it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I? Am I to presume that that you are not taking me in? No, we're not. We're not doing that. Where are you from, brother? I'm from. I'm from Cross Creek. I'm unfamiliar. Where is that? Cross Creek. Is uh, south of uh, the Walden uh, canals. You traveled all the way from Walden. Well, from from Cross Creek, yes. 
have you eaten? Um, I, I could, I could eat. That would be wonderful. Can we stop? Just for five minutes. Uh, uh, I still have some, Jackie. If you could, you know, walk on it. Yeah. I don't know if you heard all that, but we still don't know what's up with the blockade. I don't know if they sent any troops to the dank hurt mines. At least those two didn't know about it. Hmm. Uh, remember when you two got that message? The one alerting us of this blockade in the first place? I was probably yeah. jerky, yes. Oh, oh uh, yeah. Yes, sorry. Uh, I reach inside my, my pouch and... Uh, yes, thank you. Yes. Uh, it's uh, soup flavored. Mm, 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 mm. This is delicious. Thank you. Watch out for b b bones. Uh, anyway, uh, mm -hmm. yes. So, um, I forget what I was saying. But uh, um, the 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 um, vision message. Yes, yes. So, when that happens, does that happen to everybody? Yeah. So, in that case. Why was there no message after the mines? It, they only use it very rarely, and I'm assuming they used it to let us know that they were coming to get us, to help us. Then m maybe nobody knows about the mines then. Well, I mean, awesome. I, I doubt it. But the smoke I mean, is pretty obvious. Yeah, and I mean, they use other ways to get information. I mean, I, I've, I've... I was sworn in at 16, and they've literally never used that before. They don't know it's an attack. Mm. Or maybe nobody collapsed. survived. Mm. That doesn't mean it was a fucking attack. They probably Either haven't worked way, it out yet. Their weapons and armor are... The supply is uh, threatened, so they'll send, they'll send people. And even if they don't, their weapons and supply are slowed. Okay. So we climb this ridge and we have a look. Yeah, yep. plan stays the same. If it looks too busy, we double back and take a ship and pretend we're traitors. Uh, brother, are you, do you have somewhere to go? I am. Um, well, I go where the paragons tell me, yes. I've been traveling my days from town to town, but Cross Creek is where I call home. Okay. Uh, why? Do paragons are... every. Oh, sorry, Jack. Go ahead. No, no, please. I just. I just wanted to know why or how was he captured? To be marked or because of other things? I'm sorry? What? What? Were you going with them willingly to be marked? Oh, of course not. Or were no. you captured? No, I was captured. Okay. I was, uh, they do not like uh, my ramblings. They call me mad. But most people do. So, uh, But they said that I would go and become marked and my sanctioned ramblings or my ramblings would become sanctioned and I could continue. But, oh, what I, ramblings? Uh, well, they didn't pick you up from uh, Crossrake, though, did they? Where were you? Uh, Puritan's Hollow. What are the sworn doing there? I don't know. Uh, they have sworn everywhere. I'm sure. Uh, my my uh, ramblings of, of will, of course, uh, uh, avoid. And, of course, the foes that we that cannot be seen. You see. Are you a diviner? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. How many fingers am I holding up? Oh, my back. Is it whether diviner or not a... Whether or not it's behind your back, I won't be able to see. Sorry. You can, doesn't diviner mean you can tell the future? Well, yeah, I but mean, that's not the future, is it? That's the present. That's happening literally right now behind your back. All right. How so, many fingers am I holding up behind my back? I'll tell you in five minutes. Please how many enough. fingers will I be holding up in five seconds? Four. I don't think it works like that. Oh. 
Or maybe it does. I am... I... I keep walking. I yeah. I, I'm never wrong. Well, that's ridiculous. When it oh. comes to that trick, when it comes to guessing what fingers you can put up, it's the one that I'm good at. Hit me again with another. You good at anything else? Uh, uh, I, 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 there is many things that a lot of people are good at, um, but I am good at uh, spreading the good word of what cannot be seen and what people do not believe. Uh, unfortunately, right. these ramblings are not, uh, and what it is that I, I speak is not uh, allowed, of course, uh, to some. Um, I, 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 I speak of uh, a, a large ocean uh, of inky blackness that uh, only those who can swim uh, would know the way, but it is only taught by those who are higher up on how to swim and how to float. Okay. So, yeah. uh, I, 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 I'm not, I am not one who could teach you how to swim, but I am one that could uh, potentially uh, lead you to the water. Uh, but uh, leading you to the water is something that uh, I do not Where? know the path of. Uh, it, is, uh, it is all around us and nowhere near us at the same time, you see. S it is... Uh, spell wind? No, it is not the spell wind. You see, and he, uh, at this moment, he touches two of his fingers together and he pulls a dark line of, uh, of, of dark energy as, <laughs> as it sprays across. And uh, there seems to be some spell wind that blows through the area, but then it gets sucked <laughs> into, like, the, into this slit in reality that he has created. Only for a what moment. Is this? There is a small um, uh, accretion ring that, goes, that coils around it, sort of like a double helix. Uh, as if as light is trying to find and bend as it tries to find its way into the void that he pulls out from reality. And then, uh, as quick as he pulls it out... What uh, magic is this? It is uh, a gift that I have uh, dark learnings, you see. I am not able to... Uh, I could lead you to the water, but I am not able to teach or teach you how to float, you see. I, I think I'm going to Ask stay the question, dry. Varsha. <laughs> what? Yes. Ask the question. The answer is oh, yes. Oh, um, do, do, you, do you have somewhere to go? Yes. That's not the one I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I Where do we go? What, what do you mean? The what? four of us. Yes. Where do we go? Where do you go? Or where are so you going? So connected to your paragons or whatever it is that you called them. Yes. Well, I. Where are we going? And will we get there? Well, you see, reality is very hard to judge. Uh, most and all. Uh, okay. All realities are happening at once, you see. It is almost like uh, okay. someone is flipping a deck all of right. cards and you're able well, to point it on. He's a grifter as well. We get it. You're a grifter. It's all right. All right. We'll get you to uh, maybe Trader's Reach. And you can figure out yeah, how to get that's back. that's a good Cross idea. Reach. And then Trader's Reach, um, yes. Trader's Reach and then make your way up to Hollow. Um, people can help you there. Yes. All right. Yes, yes, yes. I have been north. I've been far to the Spearway. And I have then tried to make my way back down and... I would like to go towards the south. If we tell you to be quiet, you have to be quiet. If we yes. tell you to hide, you have to hide and be quiet. Very well. I will try my best. Uh, we're, we're not heading south, though. We're heading north. Is that okay? We can, we can let you go your own way now, but I don't... Can you handle yourself, or...? I... Could handle we just myself. freed him. From too sworn, he can't handle himself. Okay, Basically right, pissed yeah. himself when I asked it earlier on. Okay, well, you're going to come with us to Traders, and then uh, maybe you can get a ship or work your way south from there. Yes, but we're we going north going to go to south. We're, we might yes. be going someplace, yeah. Look, just come with us for now, and we'll figure it out. Yes, very well. I'm going to stick back, 
in case they're not come back. Any more of yeah. that joking? Uh, I'm almost out. This is the last potion. Uh, here you go. Um, oh, it's all right. I, I don't mean to take you oh, no, no, all, no. Of your, all of your food. I, I no, just... please help yourself. Are you sure? Of course. Yeah, of course. You've been in captivity. You. Oh, thank you. Oh. Ty. Take it. Take it. Mind the bones. Stick with us if you can. The bones are the best part. I'll be for a lot more. Guide. A lot more sworn in goldfish. That's what I mean. But no one near. Okay. Things are fucking centaur, all right? Quick. It'll be too late if it comes running up after us. Yeah, okay. Yep. All right, let's go. Let's see if we can find out what's going on with this blockade. Smith. He's right, it's a centaur. Why would they send the fastest after an old man? I don't know. Think he's somebody important? I don't know, maybe. Maybe his ramblings are more than just ramblings. So what do you want to do with him? Nothing. I, you know, let him go live his life. I just, I'm curious, I guess. I can hear you, by the way. I'm right here. Yep. Yep. Just wondering. Sorry to See, be rude. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's fine. I could go for a walk. How no, it's fine. Run? It's fine. Thank you. Thank you for what? For not, not killing them. I already told you, Varsha. I don't know what's good anymore. I'm just listening to you. Well, I wanted to. So All I'm right. really glad we didn't. Hey, okay, let's get going, I guess. Golfish. Listen. Yeah. They might, um, well, they might decide to kill me when I get there. I won't let that happen. I won't let that happen. Neither will you. If you think that's what's best. Yeah. We made our first decision today. We have a lot more choices to make. It certainly isn't the last one. And I think the plan is good. I think we can... I think we can fight with swords and spears, but we need to be thinking... We need to be thinking about hurting him in ways he hasn't been hurt before. With the mines, his weapons, his armor, his magic, his, um, his propaganda. Those are the things we need to fight now. And when the Sworn find out the Shining Blacksmith has fallen, it'll do more damage. And my blade could do to those two. That's what we'll it. see. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. Yeah. Chad? Brother? Uh, yes, I, I, I'm here. Uh, Just you mentioned this thing to us, so. Yeah. I yeah. wanted to see how fast he could run, you know? They sent the fastest, no? Uh, yeah. Not very fast. <gasps> no. He's an old man. Come on, don't get left behind. Let's go. Yeah. We're moving again. I just... 
Yeah, right, I'm just so... a little bit. Would you like me to carry you? <gasps> if, uh, if, yeah, come here. If, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank I'll you. get down, piggyback. All right. Thank you. Okay. Off we go. Oof. That is where we are going to end tonight's episode. My stream deck died, so I am blacked out. But <laughs> <laughs> that is, I was like, why is, what is going on? But I will get that Oof. fixed. But thank you, everybody, for joining us. Welcome. I am going to uh, fix this here. Uh, talk amongst yourselves while I get my cam fixed. But what an episode, eh? I didn't get to kill Whew. anything. I know. I was sort of <laughs> expecting that encounter to go differently. Ew. Nothing died. Yeah, I know. It was a millimeter away from uh, total destruction. Yep. I can't believe mm -hmm. that that one didn't lead to yeah. them being like, I thought like, we were going you to just die. You fucking smith. And, I'm, hey. and he just sent talk kicks you across the fucking path. I was just going <laughs> to vaporize his head. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just uh, beam, special mind cannon. Special whatever. beam mind right. that, cannon. That's the, exactly. Um, yeah. yeah. So thank you, everybody. Woo. Thanks for stopping by. Spellwind. Thank you, Twitch, for putting us on the front page today. Uh, this oh, was yeah. a lot of fun. Welcome, everybody, from the front page. This is Table Story. We're doing a show called Spellwind. It is a homebrew creation of mine. If you wanted to check more of it out, go to spell... I'm sorry, patreon.com slash Spellwind, and if you want to check out Table Story and all their amazing shows that they've put on, they have an amazing backlog over on YouTube, as well as here on Twitch, so you can consume it however you see fish, fish, however you say fish, however you see fit, uh, as well as uh, check it out on any podcast form as well. Uh, we're going to go around, say hello, who we are, and, uh, and uh, just talk about the episode a bit. So uh, we're going to start with Meyer. Okay, Maya hi. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Maya. I play the Jets today, and uh, I don't always sound like that. Normally, mm -hmm. I sound like this. And I know Maya. that kind of throws some people off. Whoa, I'm so <laughs> mad. Boys. Which okay. one's the real I think I Maya? Saw, I think I saw a comment uh, either on YouTube or maybe in the Discord that was like the utter betrayal and shock when Maya dropped his accent. <laughs> <laughs> So good. Really it good. speaks to how well you do, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like it's like <laughs> more or less how I sound when I talk to family. So it's like you know, it's whatever. But uh, but yeah, no, it's really fun uh, to play on Spellwind. Thank you so much, everybody, for the opportunity again uh, for like the eighth time or ninth time in a row for inviting me on. It's been ridiculous. Um, hello, everybody on the front page. My name is Meyer. You can find me on Twitch.tv/slash Meyer. Um, and, uh, I, I do RP stuff, I do Star Citizen stuff, I do stuff. You can find out more about my stuff on my channel for stuff. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much for your stuff and your stuff <laughs> shout-out. Brad! I'm really bad at shout-outs. That's true, me too. Um, me too. Don't first I have a question for you, Myth, that okay, I'm sure you will cover answer. in the, uh, the Spellwind Recovery, uh, Spellwind tomorrow. Rewind tomorrow Spellwind over tomorrow. on my channel, yes? On your channel at twitch.tv forward slash mythematic. Mm -hmm, where we um, dissect and, dis and discover the fun, cool the nuances again. of this entire episode where we rewatch it again. All right, sorry, go um, ahead. Thank you for shouting me out because I always forget to do that. 
I believe you told me once that due to your absolutely crippling ADHD, you yeah. can't read and are in fact utterly and totally illiterate. That's it. However, have you read... You haven't read A Song of Ice and Fire, <laughs> aka Game of Thrones uh, books, right? I have read the one. You have? Of, yeah, I read oh. uh, the song... There's oh, a Storm of Swords. I read that one. I've heard of Game of Thrones. Is, is that, that any good? The, <laughs> is that the one with Patch Face in it? Because this guy reminds me of him. There's this random oh, character in in those books that shows up and he is the friend of someone and they're like, oh, he drowned um, so badly that he came back and his mind is gone now. Hey. And he just babbles oh, all this right. crazy stuff. Mm. But when CBO you... Uh, when you take what he said and then dissect it later on in the books, it's all like prophecy stuff and it's all stuff oh, that comes wow. true and that's what brother reminded me of so much when he shut up and he was like there's a blackness and there's a sea and in the sea there's gonna and i was like i bet at some point something's gonna happen and if we dissect the sentence of whatever he just said there it will like predict something that happens in like episode 57 you know in six months or whatever so you got it chat um, write it down and put it in the discord i'll yeah, pin it so we can remember later. i will not remember yeah. this but right. just Join i'm the curious as to whether yeah. any of that stuff kind of comes true because that was i immediately was getting those kind of like mm -hmm. patch face vibes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um but i wondered um yeah i don't know We'll see. Maybe Myth will answer the question in 56 episodes or tomorrow at twitch.tv forward slash Mythomatic for the Spellwind. Great wind. personal shout out, Brad. Yeah, oh, now your turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, since uh, some people are here on the front page, I'll just shout out Table Story instead. So we mm. are uh, we put on all sorts of different shows, role play shows, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, different tabletop RPG shows. Um, if you enjoyed this or have never seen it before, there are shows many nights of the week, including D&D &D Tomorrow with Mist Light. That is a show that I'm in uh, and I run. In fact, there is another one on Friday, D&D, &D, which is run by Wack Steven over there. Um, and awesome. on the uh, Sundays at the moment, we have Vampire the Masquerade. And on Tuesdays, there is a Harry Potter um, salve show. To, yeah. So after the absolute pure stress of all the other shows, <laughs> yeah. um, a slightly more lighthearted wholesome. sometimes. I love that the Harry Potter show, the very wholesome, loving Harry Potter show, is almost immediately after the craziest yeah. vampire uh -huh. adult. Yeah. And feeds directly <laughs> into show. this one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. Um, it's so good we have all sorts of different shows and many yeah. different playlists of things as well. If you want to go to tablestory.tv, there's all sorts of uh, shows on there. And you can join our Discord to join in the conversations. Um, mm. I do not stream he on lied. my own personal He's channel. Lying. Well, He's lying. tune in to my stream tomorrow. You, I won't be there. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> so I'm taking the day off. But she'll be there. The, the vet. Right. Okay. But then you'll be there the next day and you'll be streaming right. RimWorld, right? Bizarre. That's what one. Oh, but, uh, no. <sighs> Visage one? Yep. Sp spippity spoopy weekend. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. Coming up. Uh, you, you know what you should do? And oh, no. Is... Friday, we're doing ghost grabbing. Sorry. And then phasmophobia after. Yeah, yeah. Right. that's right. That's you right. Yeah, I've got a whole day of just of scary shit. Uh, mm -hmm. shitting a brick. Yeah, uh -huh. it's gonna be amazing. Brad is, Brad is going full VR for Phasmo. That's well. gonna no, be no, hilarious. No, you aren't. That's Never gonna be again. amazing. <laughs> Come on. Never again, dude. I did that once. No, it was no. Hard. You can't move, dude. I was just crippled with fear, like, oh, what I do. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> right. people no. who I see play Phasmo in, in yeah. VR end up just crouched. And they're yes. just like, I, I can't. I'm just going to sit here I, and I'm just, you bring the ghosts yeah, to I, me. I'm not moving anymore. I couldn't deal with it at all. And one of my favorite it. clips um, of Josh is when he's playing Phasmo and he literally falls over and then his foot is in the air and on the camera and he's just like twitching. The funny sock. So oh, yeah. so, good. Uh -huh. really so good. good. You know who else is playing Phasmophobia on Friday? Brad Wodo. Pumpkinberry. And, and, and Meyer. Meyer. And Meyer. Is Meyer playing with us? Yeah. <laughs> Meyer and Leah. Oh, Leah as well. All right. Well, that's put a damper on it. But I, I was excited to play for a few moments there. Um, wow. and I, I didn't know Meyer and Leah were playing with us. I didn't know that yeah. was the crew Surprise. this week. Oh, that's oh, sick. That's really good. I can't yeah. wait. Hell right. yeah. Nice. I'm Where sure you going? But Meyer's already had a shout out. And yeah. Leah's not here. So I right. her. She's a piece of. She'll be here tomorrow. 
if you're wondering true. what's got him so riled up. <laughs> I was up. like, who the hell is Aaliyah? I don't know who that is. Mm-hmm. Neither do I. Me. But we do know who Pumpkinberry yes, is. Yes, that's right. Hello. Hi, I'm Pumpkinberry. Um, Got there eventually. I, <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm, finally. <laughs> Jam uh, that segue yeah, in. <laughs> I, 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 I play video games and lately cry a lot while playing them. Uh, lately? Red Dead Redemption lately? 2. All right. Yeah. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> I'm not always crying while playing a game. What? It's uh, a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> You can find me at twitch.tv slash pumpkinberry, and that is exactly what you will find. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Please go follow Pumpkinberry. Uh, She's a wonderful human, uh, and she has highly entertaining streams. And like I said, she gets amazed by plastic bags or anything, really. It's so wonderful. Really, anybody that's watching her streams just wants to see any sort of entertainment of any kind through her eyes for, like, one second, because... <laughs> I don't think any human being alive has really experienced a video game the way that PB does every second of every <laughs> it's every stream that she uh, has. Uh, I'm playing Outer Wilds Bear. DLC right now, and I literally played until midnight. Like I did a ten or eleven hour stream because I couldn't. Stop. I literally could not stop. <laughs> it was so good. Anyway, she's yeah, also that's me. an amazing DM. I've been watching mm -hmm. Gone. I'm now in episode four. <laughs> there we go. Hey. So everybody here is an amazing DM. Hey, I mean, like, this is fine. table story. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. It, especially the ones who've disappeared, but also the ones who are here so that they don't hurt me. Such um, as Wax <laughs> Steven. Who is <Guys>. next? <laughs> Hi, I'm Wax Steven. I am normally the GM or DM of Doom, depending on the game. Um, but here I get to be a player. So thank you so much, Myth. Uh, for making that happen. Thank you. It is, uh, it's a lot of fun. Even though, uh, you know, I'm, I have intense moments with Smith or whatever, oh, I'm so fine. Good today. Oh my I'm God, fine. it was so good. so good. That was really, really I had, good. I had minor hey, bleed for cry? like half a second. Yeah, when he was crying, I was like, what? Yeah, I yeah. felt, I was oh, very good. upset. I'm yeah. fine, don't worry. Yeah. Achievement <laughs> unlocked. No, I know you are, but it was just like, it just half a second, you know? It's like when your, you know, sibling gets punched and you cry. It's that, that's what happened. Yeah, I'm anyway. fine. Don't worry, everybody. I'm good. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I do a lot of stuff, as, as everybody mentioned here on Table Story. Um, and on Wednesdays, I also uh, do something over on my stream, um, which is design a TTRPG. I'm in the process of designing um, a TTRPG. And uh, so much work has been done on it uh, in the last several weeks. And uh, it's been a good process. Uh, I feel like I need to go die in Satisfactory now, though, uh, because I have no brain power left at all. I'm working mm -hmm. with like two, there's just two really tired old brain cells that are I'm just away. making balcony Muppet jokes at each other in my brain right now. <laughs> that's all that's left. It's awful. It's horrible. Please, please. Make, it, make the hurting stop. Be, <laughs> and you're still able to pull off an amazing <laughs> character here. <laughs> it's autopilot. Oh, I'm not thinking. <laughs> Be an it's autopilot. Let the, let the armor do it for me. Yeah, yes. it's awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. Thank you so um, much for what you bring to the show uh, and with Smith. Thank you, buddy, for making it happen. Good job. Yeah, it was an amazing session. Also, Brad, thank you for stabbing me and shooting me with an arrow. Yeah, super that was cool. Fun. That's all that super she's cool. ever wanted. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch, thank you. Dude, yeah. uh, if you don't think that is how everyone joins my little gang of, like, I was six, okay? You're a fully grown adult. Get out of yeah. Yep. Yeah, right. yeah, that, that was oh, a think, really cool introduction. I think, and, yeah. yeah, I think she knows it's kind of an initiation, yeah. right? You won't trust anybody else otherwise. There was a lot. Someone wrote in the chat, like, a really accurate description of what I was doing there at that point, so. Mm -hmm. I was really scared. For the, yeah. um, the rewind. Do you watch the, the Twitch VOD or the YouTube? The Twitch, Twitch VOD usually, because I like to watch chat so as well. You'll yeah, see the chat. So, okay. Yeah, there's yeah. a comment in here. I can't remember who said it, but it, it summed it up really well, and I'll leave. I know what it said, but I'll leave that for you to discover and discuss tomorrow. Okay. Um, uh, Because I think someone wrote it pretty succinctly as to what. Sweet. Partially was going through Ty's mind there when he Hell yeah. 
you know, he's not just trying to kill someone or whatever, but he's also like, if she dies, she dies. She's too weak to join anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, I was so scared yeah, was, that she'd was, come back to camp and then Whack would go crazy. I mean, uh, Smith would go crazy and like, you know, attack oh, yeah. Ty because of it. Yeah, that's true. I didn't oh, even think yeah. about that. It almost happened. Don't, don't. <laughs> eh, yeah, don't worry about that. Eh, okay, because mm. I'm fun. So I'm not afraid of him. <laughs> What's right. he gonna? What's he gonna? What's he gonna do? Do his little little Iron Man thing? Mm. He can do a little Iron Man thing. Oh boy! Guess oh boy! Which Avengers dead? Iron Man. That's right. You son of a bitch. Are you just like spoiling everyone? Spoiling a fucking two-year-old massive blockbuster where everyone's uh. seen the ending. Yes, it's not like it was some underground moment in an indie movie that happened. It came out. Well, I guess I don't. Know. I guess I don't need to see it now. <laughs> Yeah. Fine. <laughs> I feel absolutely zero. You had <laughs> two years. Okay, it's on you. Yeah. All right. Uh, and I hope you're joking. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, not even slightly. All right. Uh, as for me, it's I'm fucking <laughs> Avengers of all the fucking. Okay, Brad. All right. Hey, and my uh, name. Hey, I'm Mr. Hey, you are joking. What, you guess what <laughs> doesn't matter. What a, what a great. Joke you're <laughs> playing here <laughs> with all of us. Uh, yep. My name's Mythomatic. I am a role player uh, and voice actor here on Twitch. Um, they actually, uh, I did uh, re record for Kathy Rain's director cut, which just came out like the other day. So if you want to yeah. check out a cool point and click, ago. yeah, a cool uh, point and click adventure, check that out. And you uh, did what? Nice. You... I am going to play it. And when I get to your voice, I'm going to cry. Just you're FYI. In it. <laughs> I'm in it. Yeah, he's in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, sick, dude. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Ooh. over on my channel tonight as well. Uh, I do a lot of role play uh, really in any game. Also, I'm doing a lot of Red Dead RP lately. So uh, come by, check me out. Uh, and tomorrow we're going to rewatch this episode and dissect it like a, uh, like a director's uh, commentary sort of thing. So... Uh, come on by around probably 12-ish to 1-ish uh, EDT, and uh, we will, uh, or is it, e is it still EDT or is it EST? It doesn't matter. Anyway, um, I'll see you all tomorrow. Eastern. Thanks, everybody, for being here, and we will. One last uh, thing. Yep, go on. It's going to really freak all of you out, but underneath the mask, Batman is actually Bruce Wayne. All right, and then we should probably. All right, that was fun. All right, goodbye, everybody. Superman is Clark Kent. Superman okay, is Clark okay, Kent. all right, okay. Superman. Thank you.